Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? I would like to give you verses from the Word of God to show that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. I would like to repeat that. I would like to give you verses from the Word of God to show that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. Revelation 4.8 of the Good News Translation Bible says, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who is, who was, and who is coming. This is Jesus Christ. He is coming. He is coming for the second time to judge the living and the dead. Here's another verse. Revelation 1, 8. I am the first and the last, says the Lord God Almighty, who is, who was, and who is to come. So it's another verse here that says that the Almighty God is coming. And we have read also in Revelation 4, 8, that the Almighty God is coming. Now, I would like to read to you Matthew 16, 27 of the New Living Translation. In this verse, there are two personalities, the Father and the Son. And in this verse, it says that it is Jesus Christ coming. Matthew 16, 27 of the New Living Translation Bible. For the Son of Man, that is Jesus, for the Son of Man will come with His angels in the glory of His Father and will judge all people according to their deeds. So in this verse, there are two separate personalities, the Son and the Father. And between the two, it is the Son coming. I would like to read to you now Revelation 22, 12, 13. Revelation chapter 22, verses 12 to 13 of the Good News Translation Bible. Listen says Jesus, I am coming soon. I will bring my rewards or judgment. I will bring my rewards with me to give to each one according to what he has done. I am the first and the last. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. So, it is very clear here that the Lord God Almighty who is coming is Jesus Christ because between the Father and the Son, it is Jesus Christ coming. And we have read to you in Revelation 1.8 that the Alpha and the Omega is Lord God Almighty and He is coming. We have read to you in Revelation 4.8 that the Lord God Almighty is coming. I would like to read to you now that in Philippians chapter 2, 5 to 7 of the Good News Translation Bible. The, at, the attitude you should have is the one that Christ had. He always had the nature of God, but he did not think that by force he should try to remain equal with God. Instead of this, of his own free will, he gave up all he had and took the nature of a servant. He became like a human being and appeared in human likeness. So, before he appeared in the likeness of a human being, he was certainly not human.
because he just appeared in the likeness of a human being. If he is a human being, it is not necessary for him to appear in the likeness of a human being. So, these verses tell us that the Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. So, Philippians 2, 5 to 7 is correct that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty, and we have read that the Almighty God is coming. So Jesus Christ is the one coming, and He is the Alpha and the Omega. So the Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. So it is clear that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. Now I would like to read to you another verse. John chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. For the Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as just as they honor the Father. So, this verse tells us that the, the Heavenly Father will not judge anyone. Why? Because He has given all judgment to His Son, Jesus Christ. Why? Because it says here that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Why? Because they are equal. The honor that you give to the Son should be the same honor that you have given to the Father. So, this proves that they are equal. Now, to, to repeat, Revelation 4a. Now, before I uh, summarize in, uh, and repeat the verses, I would like to tell you that when Jesus Christ said that his son, his father, is greater than him, he was is speaking in the form of a human being because he came in the likeness of a human being. He uh, appeared in human likeness. That is in Philippians 2, 5 to 7. So to summarize, I would like to repeat uh, these verses in reading them so that we could uh, easily uh, understand fully well that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father because the Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty so they are equal Revelation 4.8 of the Good News Translation Bible it says Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who is, who was, and who is coming. Well, this is Jesus Christ. He is coming for the second time. This is the second coming of Jesus Christ. There is no verse in the Bible which says that the Heavenly Father is coming. It is Jesus Christ who is coming. In John 14, 3, Jesus Christ said, I am coming back. In John 14, 3, Jesus Christ said, I am coming back. The Father has no record of having gone to the earth. He cannot say that he is coming back. And Jesus Christ said he is coming back. Now in Revelation 22, 20, it says, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. So it's very clear that Jesus Christ is the one coming. So it says here, Revelation 4, 8. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who is coming. And this is Jesus Christ. In Revelation 1, 8. I am the first and the last says the Lord God Almighty. So the Lord God Almighty is the first and the last. I am the first and the last. 
the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God Almighty, who is, who was, and who is coming. So, this is Jesus Christ who is coming. Matthew 16, 27. There are two personal there are two personalities here, and the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father. And it says, For the Son of Man, that is Jesus, will come, is coming, will come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and will judge all people according to their deeds. So it's very clear here that the Father is not coming, and he is not going to judge humanity. Revelation 22, 12, 13 of the Good News Translation Bible. Listen, says Jesus. So it is now Jesus Christ speaking. Listen, says Jesus. I am coming soon. I will bring my rewards with me to give to each one according to what he has done, meaning he is going to judge. I am the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. There is no lie coming from the lips of Jesus Christ because he speaks the truth. And he says here that he is the Alpha and the Omega. And the Alpha and the Omega is Lord God Almighty. He says here that he is coming. This is the second coming. And he, see, he says here that he is going to judge. And the Father is not going to judge. Philippians 2, 5, 7 of the Good News Translation Bible says, The attitude you should have is the one that Christ had. He always had the nature of God. But he did not think that by force he should try to remain equal with God. Instead of this, of his own free will, he gave up all he had and took the nature of a servant. He became like a human being and appeared in human likeness. So, he appeared like a human being. The, the God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty appeared like a human being. Why? Because it is necessary for him to appear in human likeness because as God, he has no physical body. As Lord God Almighty, God is a spirit and so he does not have a physical body. So he appeared in the likeness of a human being. Why? Because he is going to offer his physical body on the cross. When he shall have a physical body, he shall have a physical blood. When he shall have a physical blood, when a spear is struck at his side, blood will flow to fulfill what is written in Hebrews 9.22, that without the shedding of the blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. So he should come appear in the likeness of man. Now, in John, John 5, 22 to 23 of uh, the English Standard Version Bible, it says, For the Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son. Why? That all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. It is very clear here that, this, that, the honor, that the honor that you give to Jesus Christ should be the same honor that you give to the Heavenly Father. So it is very clear that Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. The Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty. It's, it is very clear that they are equal and Philippians 2, 5, 7 is correct to say that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. So, these verses will confirm 
that Jesus Christ is equal with Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is Alpha and Omega. Jesus Christ is Alpha and Omega. So they are equal. Philippians 2, 5, 7 is correct when it says that Jesus Christ is equal with Heavenly Father and that Jesus Christ is God and that He came in the likeness of a human being. So before He came in the likeness of a human being, He was not human. So uh, John fourteen three says, I am coming back. And uh, Revelation 1, 7 says, He is coming in the clouds and every eye will see him, including those who pursed him. So the one pursed was Jesus Christ, and he is coming. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the Almighty God who is coming. So Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. The Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty. Philippians 2, 5, 7 is correct when it says that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. And so we have given you verses from the Word of God that clearly show that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father and that He is coming to judge the living and the dead. The Father will not judge anyone. He has given full judgment to the Son because he is not coming. And so, thank you very much for listening. We have given you uh, verses from the Word of God that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father, that the Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. Philippians 2, 5, 7 is correct, that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. When Jesus Christ died in the physical body, it was only the physical body that died because God, as Lord God Almighty, He cannot die because He has no physical body. Lord God Almighty is a spirit, so He can never die because He has no physical body. So when He came to the world and took on human flesh, then the human body was the one that died. That is why in uh, Revelation 1, 17, 18, the Alpha and the Omega was dead. It was referring to the physical body that died. Why? Because the physical body is a sin offering. The physical body must die so that blood will flow. The physical body must be nailed to the cross. The physical body uh, should shed a blood. When a spear is struck at his side, blood will flow to fulfill what is written in Hebrews 9.22, that without the shedding of the blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. When it says that the Alpha and the Omega died, but is alive forevermore, Revelation 1.17.18, it says, the Alpha and the Omega I am the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord God Almighty. I died. He was referring to the physical body that died, the physical body that is offered as a ransom for sins for mankind to be saved. And so we have given you the verses from the Word of God that testify that Jesus Christ is equal with the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty who came in the likeness of a human being because he has to offer that physical body to be a sin offering, to be a ransom for sin so that humankind will be saved. Thank you very much and God bless you.